Melania posed for pick in royal residence and everyone immediately noticed one shocking thing in it, it's been a busy week for leaders around the world. Not only are they working on foreign relations, climate change, combating terrorism and other globally threatening issues, but apparently they're dealing with social issues as well. Our president and first lady were of course in the middle of all sorts of controversy over whether they were doing enough in the way of public displays of affection. The first lady and her stepdaughter were once again put in the news as if they were somehow pitted against each other for being brought on the same multinational trip. At the risk of sounding overly feministic, I'd just like to point out that if it were the president's adult son that were being brought along as an advisor, I'm pretty sure there'd be no talk of whose reply the president it would just be a good growing and learning experience. However, they, of course, acted with as much class and grace as always and got along just smashingly. Because of all these world leaders being in the same place at the same time, the first ladies of the countries got to go on some interesting tours. One of those tours was attended by a first spouse that wasn't a lady at all. And that's the buzz that's taken over social media of late. Via CNN, what's the first thing you noticed about this picture of political spouses and partners? other than Melania Trump's continued mastery of the color black. It's probably the man in the back row, standing out against the nine women pictured. That's Gautier de Sine, the first gentleman of Luxembourg and the husband of the world's only acting openly gay prime minister. De Sine and Luxembourg Prime Minister Xavier Bettel wed in 2015, right after Luxembourg legalized gay marriage. When Bettel won the prime ministership in 2013, he was already in a civil partnership with Disney and their sexualities were not a secret to be clear, but it isn't the only gay prime minister ever, just the only one in office right now. Former Belgian Prime Minister Elio Dirupo and former Icelandic Prime Minister Johanna Sigurðardóttir were both public about their sexualities. Can you name the rest of the people in this photograph? We'll help you out, first row, first lady of France Bridget Macron, first lady of Turkey Emin Gulbaran Erdogan. First Lady of the U.S. Melania Trump, Queen Methold of Belgium, Secretary General of NATO Jens Stoltenberg's partner Ingrid Schillerud, partner of Bulgaria's President Desi Slavaradova, partner of Belgium's Prime Minister Amelie Derbadrungi and second row, First Gentleman of Luxembourg Gautier Dissene, partner of Slovenia's Prime Minister Moje Kastronik, and First Lady of Iceland. Thora Margaret Baldvinstotir I find it interesting that the same people who are extremely adamant that a person's sexuality is their own personal business also feel the need to put those with a culturally in taste and significant other on a pedestal and talk about their sexuality. The same sexuality that is supposed to be personal and up to the individual. I'm not sure how that's consistent, but what's new? There was even more talk about the Prime Minister and his partner by E! News. Via E! Online Latino, translation via Google Translate. See how it marks an important milestone. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, is currently taking place in Brussels, including countries such as the United States, Germany, Canada, Denmark, Spain, Great Britain, among others. In the midst of debates on issues of global concern, a single protocol act has just been a milestone in history without the need for countries to reach agreement or sign a treaty. This is the presence of Dissene Gautier the husband of the Prime Minister of Luxembourg, Xavier Bettel. Dissende, who takes the title of First Knight, thus becomes the first man to participate in this type of acts and be included in the group that was believed to be only women. In the official photo of the summit that brings together the First Ladies, Gautier posed with his colleagues, among whom were the First Lady of Turkey, Emin Erdogan, First Lady of France, Bridget Trognyux, and the First Lady of the United States, Melania Trump. Quickly, the image began to turn it into social networks, being recognized as an example of progress for the GLBT community and society in general. Xavier Bettel was elected Prime Minister of Luxembourg in 2013. After two years in office, he married Gautier. It was the first time that a marriage between an active European leader and a person of the same sex took place. On one occasion, Xavier declared in a speech, People do not consider whether someone is gay or not. Gay rights in the United States has been a big issue in recent years especially with the Supreme Court legalizing gay marriage. While many people see this as an issue best sorted out between an individual and their own conscience, but the fact is that the government is now involved. And not only are they legalizing gay marriage, 
they've decided to give it preferential treatment with things like hate crime status. If speaking against gay marriage is a hate crime, what is speaking against traditional marriage? You'd be hard-pressed to find a pub anywhere in this country where there's not a drunk on a bar stool cursing the institution of marriage and that's not a hate crime. But gay marriage has somehow become so special that it gets even better treatment than traditional marriage. And that is a crying shame. Source, CNN. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.